from Marshall, Virginia. About 1,100 people, 1,200 people. One stoplight town. It's beautiful. It made me a hardworking man. It made me a man of character. It made me a great man. I feel like where I come from plays a big role. 50 miles west of Washington, D.C. sits a farmhouse once lived in by his grandfather that helped shape Michigan running back Blake Corum. The color may have changed, but the memories remain. Blake looked forward to going to the farm every day. My dad would get off work at four o'clock. Four o'clock, we would go straight to the farm. Always wanted to ride on a tractor with me and we'd walk down to the creek and the ponds and everything. I think it was a place where he felt safe and where he just enjoyed life. You know, it was just like his go-to place where he could just be free. He wasn't scared of anything. If there was cows out there or horses, it did not matter. He would just go through the field. He hated shoes. Growing up, he didn't find them to be necessary. No shoes, you know, come in, feet brown. You know, that's how you grow tough feet. Maybe that's where his speed comes from today, you know? Blake says his upbringing instilled in him an appreciation for hard work. The lessons learned translated directly to the football field, where Corum dominated Marshall's youth leagues. Soon, a new dream came into focus. A lot of kids in school, you know, they didn't even believe, they didn't, they didn't dream. And I used to tell them, like, I'm going to NFL. And they said, no, you're not, because no, no one believed. People got a dream. To make those distant dreams reality, the entire Corum family had to sacrifice immeasurably. For Blake, it meant leaving the comfort of Marshall in favor of higher exposure high school football in Baltimore. For his parents, it meant devoting eight hours of driving day after day. We wake up at 3.30 in the morning. You know, that's two hours there. They had to go back home to go to work. Then they had to go drive another two hours, pick me up in the evening and drive, you know, back home. We knew the end goal and we knew why we were doing this. You know, we were doing it because he had a goal and he had a dream. To help him accomplish his goal and dream, this is what we had to do. You know, I kind of get chills, you know, thinking about it. Uh, Cause I'm just so very thankful, you know, for what my parents you know, sacrificed. Thousands of hours in the car paid off with a scholarship to Michigan. There's a snap, give to Corum, big hole up the middle. They are not going to catch him, Blake Corum. And in 2023, a program record 24 rushing touchdowns. Inside handoff, Corum, he's got a hole. Corum breaks a tackle to the 10. Touchdown Wolverines, Blake Corum. As dynamic as Corum is on the field, his coaches and teammates say he is equally as compassionate in the community. There's a thing about him, and it's rare usually um, when the empathetic person and the savage warrior have that makeup. You talk about being the best version of yourself on and off the field, I mean, that's him. It comes from his parents. Blake's football future is in full bloom, but no matter where it takes him, he says his roots hold firmly to rural Virginia soil and the farmhouse that forged him. Last time I went back home, someone painted it green and it lit me up, you know, it lit, it lit me up inside and it hurt my heart, you know, cause I'm used to seeing it red. That's it? That's it right there. I promised my mom that. I told her I'm gonna go back and get that farm. And, and, I, and I mean it, I'm, I'm coming back. I don't know who owns it. If you're watching this, we're gonna have a negotiate in a couple years because I'm coming to get it. <laughs> and the first thing you'll do is? Paint it back red. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs>